This is real. I walked to New York City. Oh my god, the Big Apple. It's crazy. Was that honestly much different than what Dollar Sign Empire did? Hey, whatever happened to this guy? This fella right here. You know, the guy who went viral on TikTok six months ago by sneaking into Jake Paul's fight against Tyrone Woodley just to find Logan Paul and beg him for a job. The TikTok got 15 million views and it basically went something like this. I just quit my job, Logan Paul. Can I have a job, Logan Paul? What are you good at? Oh, I'm not good at anything. Do you have what it takes? No, I do not. Then why would I hire you? I don't have any friends. Good luck, man. Don't believe me? Fuck it. Here's the full clip. I quit my job legit. Trying to talk about trying to get a job. What I was, are you good at? I was having dances. Oh, so you really got what it takes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Then why would I, I give need you a, a mentor. job? You have people, you, friends? I don't. I don't. Friends? You got, a, you got friends. You got to be I ghost. don't. Bro, well, you're a good looking guy, bro. You have friends, bro. You're fucking lying. That's my advice. Right. And then cut to him crying in his car about quitting his 100K a year salary job as a welder and Logan not hiring him on the spot despite telling him he really, really wanted it. I just talked to Logan Paul. I make $100,000 a year. Well, his name is Austin Wallace and he got clowned on by the whole internet for basically being spoiled and looking for a handout, which he was. But Austin appeared to have learned his lesson and swore he wouldn't give up on his dream of becoming an influencer. Shoot for the stars, kids. I just want a comp, you know, instant gratification, I know, and I should have known it doesn't work like that. It comes with hard work and dedication. 365 days, I'm going to be in LA. I'm living in LA. His villain origin story is old news, but it's necessary backstory because this week, I decided to check in on Austin Wallace and see how he was doing. And boy, has he learned nothing from the Logan Paul incident. With that, let's start by looking at this Dr. Phil interview that Austin did about the Logan Paul situation. Because yeah, that makes sense. You're embarrassed by the whole internet. Let's double down on that shit and get Dr. Phil to cover it. You'll learn quickly that this is just classic opportunistic Austin looking to clout chase off of anyone he can, even if that person is Dr. Phil. A strange choice of a person to clout chase, but you do you. My dream has always been to be in the entertainment business or to be an influencer. A few months ago, I started posting stuff on social media. Some of the media influencers I like are the Paul brothers. Logan and Jake Paul are like idols to me. Okay, well, there's your first mistake. Taking Xanax before Dr. Phil interview is never a good idea. And your second mistake was idolizing the Paul brothers. It's kind of bizarre the world we live in, where now some current fans of the Paul brothers are fully grown men with fully grown beards. Austin is 23. He's my age, but doesn't act like it, as is the case with any other human who grew up thinking these two were good influences. Austin is the type of guy in high school who would take post-it notes and make what's called a paper wasp to, to launch at kids with a rubber band, except he would go a step further and he would put thumbtacks in the post-it note to literally impale people on impact. I realize it's a very specific specific thing I'm claiming he used to do, but you can't convince me otherwise he didn't do it. Since the video went viral about meeting Logan Paul, people have been really saying hateful stuff. I'm entitled, you know, go jump off a building. And that it's so stupid that you quit your job. Hold on, you can't just slip one hateful thing in the middle of three comments and that makes them all hateful. Calling you spoiled or saying you shouldn't have quit your job is different than telling you to jump off a building. Two of those are criticisms and one is wishing death upon you. Yeah, it sucks. I'm getting all these hateful comments telling me that I shouldn't expect handouts, that I should literally douse myself in gasoline, light a match and burn alive. And that my beard looks dumb. So what did you think was gonna happen? You drive up and ask for a job. I thought maybe I was gonna get lucky. Um, not lucky, but like, I felt like maybe he was gonna say, hey, come on, let's, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some advice. Um, let's go talk, you know, and maybe you can get an internship. I think a big part of Austin's problem is that he just can't write used words. And he doesn't really know what he means when he says things. Take what he just said, for instance. I was hoping I was gonna get lucky, no, I wasn't. I was hoping I'd get advice, which Logan did give him. No, I was hoping to get an internship, which would have just been getting lucky, right? So you were trying to get lucky, so just stick to that. I was upset because I messed up and I wasn't witty enough or funny. I didn't feel like I was enough in the situation to arouse him to give me a job or give me an internship. Oh, arouse him? What? Oh, like turn him on? Gross. Oh, I mean, it's a valid strategy. But oh, my like, gross. Kind of changes the whole connotation of the getting lucky thing. Did you want to fuck Logan Paul? Is that what this is all about? Look, I support you, brother. It's just a big curveball. And Jake is clearly hotter. <laughs> the interview kind of ends with this weird segment where Dr. Phil brings in to touch an emu, the guy who made those really viral headphone dances is that he wouldn't stop milking the fuck out of. I hate that Justin Bieber song now because of him. And Dr. Phil just kind of makes him do his dance with him to see if he 
has what it takes, and he doesn't. Regardless, Dr. Phil didn't really address the problem with Austin. If anything, he's encouraged it by having him on and connecting him to another influencer he can try to finesse exposure from. Now, what do I mean when I say that? Well, let's take a look at Austin's channel and some of his videos. Sneaking into Danny Duncan World Tour, the Island Boys scared me. How I met Bryce Hall. Uh, from the looks of it, it seems like he's still trying to use other influencers to prop up his career, which was the problem with the Logan Paul situation. No one was mad that he was trying to make it in so social media. That's cool. It's that he wanted and thought he deserved instant success from somebody else as evident of him being upset at Logan Paul after the fact. I want to be a successful YouTuber. You know what I'm not going to do to get there? Uh, sneak into YouTube HQ and demand Susan Wojcicki to pump up my channel. Because, well, Susan, with no due respect, I think I'm pretty funny. Can you do some shit about that? Let's take a look at this video from Austin, Ask Bryce Hall to Box, because I think it will elaborate on what I'm trying to get at. I was told that Bryce Hall is going to be in Destin, Florida. Anyways, I'm in Panama City right now, and I decided, you know, I like taking opportunity, and I had to do what I can with opportunity. I'm gonna go see him and try to get a job. Great. Okay, so no lessons have been learned, and you're going to do the same exact thing you got ridiculed online for by asking Bryce Hall for a job now. I thought you said before that you weren't looking for quick gratification and that you understand it takes hard work. Why are you still asking other influencers, now even younger than you, for a job? And I'm not all alone this time. I got my boy, Brandon. AKA, not my friend, just a camera guy. You got friends, you got to be I don't. Ghost. Fuck this guy, fuck my cameraman. We are just business acquaintances. So Austin and his not friend Brandon just kind of show up at Bryce Hall's pop-up tent for his energy drink brand with Josh Richards where they're doing signatures for their teenage girl fans where Austin definitely fits in at. Once again, like the Jake Paul fight, he's not invited, and this time he's not even a fan of them, just walking right up to them with a camera in their face, asking for a job. Yeah, you know what's actually the best way to make sure no one ever gives you a job? Filming yourself asking. Yo, Bryce, yo, yo, over here, over here, yo. Yo, can I get a job? Like, I know like you're busy doing stuff, but like, I could really use a job. Are you getting aroused yet? I went on the log and asked for a job. That was that is you? Oh my No, I just went back on my parents. You know, my bro. Oh, so I'm trying to start a YouTube. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, let's so start you can sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can sell one of these. I'm not a fanboy. I know, but you can sell it. Yeah, you're right. Austin, why say I'm not your fanboy? Bryce was actually being pretty nice to you, and then you just dropped that line for no reason. You would think if all you do is trying to get things from people, you would be better at it. <laughs> Maybe you should be nice to the person you're begging for a job from. Bryce, I'm not your fanboy. I don't like you. Give me a job. Yo, Bryce, you're a total pussy. Hire me? You know what I hate about this situation is that they can't go anywhere. Like, it's their pop-up tent, so they kind of just have to stay there and try to get rid of Austin. So they awkwardly sign his cans, and Bryce says to Austin what I guarantee he thought was a throwaway line to make him leave. Yeah, I want to come out to LA, though, for real. Well, if you come to LA, you can definitely come out with us. Okay. Thanks for going. Now this is like when you're drinking with your cousins on a family holiday and your much younger cousin comes up to you and says, hey, can we play Minecraft? And you say, no, sorry, buddy, like not right now. And they say, okay, bet, when? And you gotta say, oh, I don't know, like maybe like an hour just to try to shake them off. And exactly an hour later, that kid spawns at your door like a demon saying, we are playing. Like my 12 year old cousin, Austin hung on to those words. We can definitely collab and took it like gospel for another video. How I met Bryce Hall. Uh, he doesn't actually, he spends the whole video harassing Bryce. He tries to make a TikTok to get his attention. When that doesn't work, he gets his number from an anonymous source and then texts him, gets no answer, and then tries to FaceTime him, no answer. So when all options are exhausted, he just shows up at his house. My hope was literally belittling. So I decided to go up to Bryce Hall's house and I absolutely do not encourage anyone to do this. Never go up to a YouTuber's house but I was literally thinking I had no other choice. As I was sitting there in front of his house, I decided that this is definitely not the right way to go about this. Thank God you realized that because that's fucking scary. No YouTuber, let alone any person, wants someone to show up at their house uninvited. Remember, he did all of this because three months ago, Bryce said, Well, if you come to LA, you can definitely go out with us. Psychotic behavior. And I love that message. I don't encourage this. Nobody do this. 
but I'm going to do this. <laughs> That's one way to avoid criticism. Look, guys, I do not condone doing drugs. Nobody should do drugs. But I'm going to do a lot of ketamine this weekend. Now, again, thankfully, Austin backed out and didn't actually go up to his door. But apparently, this isn't even the first time he's done this. Rewind back to after the Logan Paul incident. Austin flew to Puerto Rico to film a comeback video, sort of like a Rocky parody thing. Do you know who also happens to live in Puerto Rico? Logan Paul. Now, here's a video of the guy who was filming that parody for Austin and his experience with him who he had just met. Austin actually didn't get any sleep from last night when he flew over, so he's going on two days without sleep. So he says he's going to go for a walk and clear his head, give him a call. Turns out he's been sitting outside of Logan Paul's house for who knows how long, and he's telling me he's going to go up and ring Logan Paul's door right now. Are we starting to see a pattern here? A really creepy stalker-ish pattern? This isn't Austin filming for a YouTube video anymore. It's harassment. To be fair, I don't know if this guy's telling the truth. He could just be making this up, but does it seem like something Austin wouldn't do? Nah, dude, the guy that harassed and sat outside of Bryce Hall's house. You think he would do the same to Logan Paul? <laughs> yeah, pr prob probably. That does make sense, actually. In the Danny Duncan video on Austin's channel, he sneaks into Danny's live event to ask him to collab. Because yeah, showing up to Bryce Hall's house uninvited, psh, beta move. Better yet, sneak into someone's private event without paying to ask them if they want to work together. That's how you start a business relationship founded on trust. I don't want to collab. My point is that Austin is infatuated with using famous people to make himself famous by crossing so many boundaries. I don't think he's a bad dude, but I think he's extremely confused on the right way to go about things. So what's got him thinking this way? Well, look no further than his inspiration, Eric. Why is it so hard to be a creator in 2021? Who do we know who made it in 2020? Eric Eric Decker, AKA Eric. How am I gonna become the biggest YouTuber? Eric popped in my head. I'm sure a lot of you might've heard of him before. He went from zero to a million subscribers in one year. And a huge part of that growth was a series he did with Logan Paul that started out basically doing the same exact thing Austin did. So the idea is to fly all the way to Miami, somehow obtaining an all access pass, then using that all access pass to hand deliver my resume to Logan Paul. And he did just that. He snuck into the fight. He asked Logan Paul for a job. Logan said no. And then he went to his house to try to film more content, which Logan actually got upset at. You going to dance party tonight? I think you're charismatic. I have a general rule of thumb, mm -hmm. and that's gonna come to my house. Understood. Lightly. Yeah. I'm gonna need you guys to leave. Easy. Now, in the end, it worked out for Iraq. He had a very popular series where he bought these expensive couches from Logan Paul, which made for good content, and the clout sharking, despite its initial hiccups, was ultimately a success. Is there a difference between what Iraq did and what Austin is doing when he told us that he is explicitly taking inspiration from Iraq? And I'm not really sure there is, at least in the case of sneaking into a fight and showing up at people's houses. The couch buying series made more sense because he bought the couches and had a reason to show up at his house. While it sucks to say, I think the only difference is whether you come off likable and confident to the person instead of creepy, which Austin is definitely failing at. I would like to say that Airac is the exception and not the rule, because how bad would it be to start a meta where young content creators think that they need to sneak into private events and stalk other influencers for content? I don't think most other people would dig that. I'm just guessing. I've had people ask me for collabs, and they just send me an email, which is dope. Thanks for not showing up at my house. My advice to Austin, who will probably watch this, is just make your own content for now. You're not anybody yet, people do not know you, and you should not be trying to make content that relies on somebody else who is an unwilling participant. Because it's needy, it's annoying, and in some cases, it's illegal. <laughs> Austin, I really do wish you the best. You seem passionate, and I hope you stay positive, so please take my criticisms and jokes in stride, but also hear them out. Wanting to be famous is not good enough. You need to also enjoy the content you're making, because it's all about the ride to the top, yeah? It's all about the journey. I've, I think I've heard, heard people say that. Good luck. Well, that's the video today, stalkers. A bit of a shorter one, but a topic I wanted to cover nonetheless. Anyways, be sure to subscribe as well as follow me on Instagram if you want to track my geolocation. And check out my Patreon if you want to enter into a parasocial relationship with yours truly. With that said, good day. Oh, uh, yeah, can one of you pussies uh, give me a job? Don't move too slow. Fine,